The International Sugar Research Foundation ISRF, concealed the connection between sugar utilization and expanded danger of coronary illness in 1967. As indicated by ISRF reports, rats that were sustained a high sugar eating regimen had larger amounts of triglycerides, a fat found in the blood, than those encouraged starch. TheGuardian.com reports, Christian Kearns, one of the specialists who investigated ISRF archives, says, ISRF's examination was intended to provide reason to feel ambiguous about the significance of lifted triglycerides in the blood as a coronary illness chance factor. It is presently ordinarily acknowledged that triglycerides are a hazard factor, however this was questionable for a considerable length of time. I figure mainstream researchers would have come to accord about lifted triglycerides being a hazard factor for coronary illness much sooner, if the examination been published. After a year the establishment supported Project 259, investigating the impacts of sucrose utilization in the intestinal tracts of rats. It found a conceivable connection between sugar utilization and expanded danger of bladder malignancy, and depicted the discoveries as one of the primary showings of an organic contrast amongst sucrose and starch bolstered rats. In any case, the ISRF ended the venture subsidizing before the analyses were done in spite of the examination having just kept going 27 months, and requiring just three more months. The investigation, the analysts contend in their new paper, distributed in the diary Plo's Biology, could have had suggestions for people, and demonstrates how ISRF made light of sugar's part in cardiovascular infection because of business premiums. Kern says, ISRF's basic role was and still is as the Sugar Association and the World Sugar Research Organization, to offer more sucrose. Our past paper and this one exhibit that ISRF's exploration program was intended to help its business advantages to the detriment of the general population. The issue could be substantially greater than the two ISRF examines the analysts have investigated. The specialists reason that the civil arguments we now have on sugar's consequences for our well-being are possibly established in six many years of the sugar business control of logical confirmation. ISRF supported more than 300 research extends in the vicinity of 1943 and 1972, and its successor associations keep on funding research, Keenrus says. I believe it's sheltered to state the issue is more broad than what's laid out in the paper. Because of the paper, the ISFR's successor, the Sugar Association, said in an announcement. The article we are examining isn't really an examination, yet a point of view, a gathering of hypotheses and suppositions about occasions that happened almost five decades back, directed by a gathering of specialists and supported by people and associations that are known pundits of the sugar business. We investigated our examination files and discovered documentation that the investigation being referred to finished for three reasons, none of which included potential research discoveries, the investigation was essentially postponed, it was therefore finished spending plan, and the deferral covered with an authoritative rebuilding there were plans to proceed with the investigation with subsidizing from the British Nutrition Foundation, at the same time, for reasons unbeknown to us. This did not happen.